We live in Hamra, a neighborhood of Beirut. The university and the international college, the school that we are visiting, lie just across the street. Beirut is divided east to west, where most French-speaking Christians live in the west, and most English-speaking Muslims live in the east, and that's where we are. trip that I took by myself was different from the trips that I took with the girls. I feel more comfortable walking with other girls than alone. But I'm happy I got this experience because I learned more about what it really means to walk alone here. This is where we're staying. This is our immediate neighborhood. We have a subway and a small convenience store. Let's go to our hotel room. Just look at this view. I'm visiting IC, International College. It's a private school. Here people change from speaking English to Arabic to French. It is a trilingual school. Like the university, it is gorgeous. Every week we will visit another school. This week we visited Step Together, which is a school for kids with special needs. The school sits just outside of the city and is surrounded by mountains. Here the kids can learn a skill like weaving and spinning wool, which is super hard. On the way back, we saw some new parts of town. The next day, we had a day off. So we decided we wanted to explore downtown Beirut. Downtown has some fancy stores.
This is Mohammed Alamin Mosque. One cross, two cross, three cross, four cross, five cross, and a mosque. And some ruins from the Roman Empire. We were invited to come inside. This shows the direction to Mecca. He told us a lot about Islam. To take it up there? No, you see, you see, they assembled it over here. They did not build it outside and bring it to here. No. How can they, they, yeah, how, okay, how, how can they carry it? So they, no, did they it put here? it here and they built it piece by piece. <gasps> okay. They brought the pieces from Austria and Czech Republic. Yeah. And then he said, "Get your cameras." Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Next time you'll see Shatila refugee camp, ancient ruins in Baalbek, and a weather update.